Which nations make most of their billions off of fish sales? What country hosts the gambling capital of the world? Find out as we look at the 15 richest countries in the world. Number 15. San Marino. One of the smallest nations around the world, the Republic of San Marino only has a population of little more than 33,500 people. The expanse of the country is small as well, at just 24 square miles. But size isn't everything, as San Marino ranks among the strongest economies today. With a GDP per capita of $50.9,000, it's no wonder this rich little country is the only nation in the world with more cars than there are people. Number 14. Austria The nation of Austria boasts a strong, well-developed social market economy that has elevated the country's wealth among the elite. Thanks to the work of labor movements, the citizens of this European country have enjoyed moderate wages since the 1940s, with more than half of the country's salary and wage earners belonging to unions. Tourism also plays a major part in Austria's economy, accounting for at least 10% of the country's gross domestic product, or GDP. Making a majority of its products to trade with surrounding EU countries, nearly 66% of Austrian imports and exports are made within their home continent. At a GDP per capita of $51.7,000 and a population of 8.75 million people, Austria maintains its hold with one of the most stable and successful economies worldwide. Number 13. The Netherlands The Dutch have led Europe as one of the most consistent producers in the agricultural, fishing, shipping, and trading industries since the 16th century. A population of 17 million people inhabit the Netherlands, and the country churns out a GDP per capita of $52.9,000. In addition to its seaward domination, the Dutch people have also been fortunate to generate huge revenue from the discovery of natural gas resources in 1959. The Netherlands have an open trade economy that allows them to prosper by relying on foreign trade. Their economy is notable across the globe for its low unemployment levels, decent surplus, and stable industrial relations. The Netherlands expects to have hit a budget surplus of 0.8% in 2018, and its unemployment rates are definitely below 5%. Numerous other factors like the country's social programs and well-protected employee rights keep Dutch workers happy and the nation of the Netherlands near the top of the world's wealthiest. Number 12. Sweden. From 1995 to 2017, the national debt to GDP ratio of Sweden dropped from 80 to 41%. This economic stabilization represents the long road to recovery Sweden's endured since being hit with a severe financial crisis in the 90s. The government has continuously maintained control over public spending and has received three separate AAA ratings from the top credit agencies in the world. But this change didn't just arise from hard work and good luck as the Swedish government introduced inventive regulations to boost the economy. These include the advent of Utgiftstock, a public spending ceiling, and over Skotsmalet, a surplus goal for the country to aim towards. These regulations keep the national debt in check and receive support from most all Swedish politicians. Thanks to this strategy, the current GDP of Sweden has surged to an impressive $53.87,000 per capita. Number 11. Australia. The success of the Australian economy stands sturdy atop many pillars that are to thank for their placement on this list. A rich source of minerals, as a global leader in aluminum and opal, the land down under also exports diamonds, gold, iron ore, nickel, and silver around the world. The nation has a steady supply of natural gas and oil, too. Its massive plains host enormous plantations of grains, industrial crops, and herds of livestock. Australia has the second largest population of sheep and is the second largest exporter of beef with the country's food exports being among the most profitable of any region. High quality education, an excellent tourism industry, and an immigration policy aimed at attracting higher performing workers rather than diverse ones all assist in making Australian wealth as stable as it's become. However, one of the most important factors is the country's relatively low population. With so few bodies spread across the large expanse of Australia, the GDP per capita is up to $56.7,000. Number 10. Denmark 
The nation of Denmark is enjoying its long history of wealth that came from the ability to constantly adapt. Beginning with the Treaty of Kiel, after losing much of their country's land, population, and economical standing, Denmark was on a mission to rebuild, employing an array of property reforms, new farming techniques, and improvements to the government infrastructure all helped push the nation in the right direction. Suddenly, Denmark had become a farmer's haven, as the country had developed an entire economy based on agriculture. By the time 1950 rolled around, the farm-based nation was only one of its kind, producing 65% of their GDP via agriculture, with up to 50% of the population being employed by farmers. But then, the Industrial Age came, and by 1972, only 4% or less worked in agriculture. An oil crisis quickly ended that movement, and Asian countries moved in to take that market, leaving the Danish to now switch to the service industry. Hundreds of thousands of citizens required re-education for these new jobs, but overall, Denmark's quick action to switch industries paid off as the nation remains successful today, boasting a GDP of $61.2 thousand dollars per capita. Number 9. Singapore Unlike many other countries on this list, Singapore can attribute most of their economic success to a singular entity, Lee Kuan Yew. As the first Prime Minister of Singapore, Lee Kuan Yew is recognized as a founding father of the nation as he governed Singapore for three decades. With no natural resources and sparse land, the small island country had its work cut out for it since attaining independence in 1965. But under Lee's direction, Singapore grew swiftly thanks to his dedicated workforce and focus on external trade. Today, the nation is a shadow of the third world label it once was given. Instead, it serves as a worldwide frontrunner in education, entertainment, finance, innovation, technology, and tourism. Income inequality is unfortunately still an issue. However, education, healthcare, and life expectancy rates are equally high. And so, Singapore files into the elite ranks with a GDP of $61.23 thousand per capita. Number 8. United States Despite one of the most devastating recessions to hit the United States in recent years, America is still very wealthy. While the country currently has a national debt of nearly $20 trillion, the GDP per capita remains a strong $62,500 per capita. Given the U.S. population of more than 327 million people, the GDP per capita just barely edges out the debt per capita, putting America ahead of its debts for the time being. A service-oriented and foreign trade-focused nation, the majority of wealth in the states relies on technological and scientific advancements brought to the retail and service industry level. High production and high spending levels keep the U.S. economy afloat. After all, there's nothing more American than spending some hard-earned cash. Number 7. Qatar One of the wealthiest nations in the Middle East, as well as the world, the nation of Qatar has flipped its natural resource reserves into a path of success. Rather than take the revenue generated by their high supply of fossil fuels and spend it frivolously like other countries, Qatar has instead reinvested their profits into other industries. In addition to diversifying its economy, the country also retains a large amount of those fuel reserves for their own use as well. Boasting a GDP per capita of $67.8 thousand dollars, it was just four years ago that Qatar would have been at the top of this list with a GDP of $98.8 thousand dollars a person. The young residents of Qatar, which has a relatively youthful population, typically spend their wealth on lavish purchases, such as multi-million dollar pieces of artwork and exotic pets such as cheetahs. Number 6. Ireland Unlike many of the countries on this list that rely on exporting goods and their own natural resources, Ireland taps a different resource to make their millions. The minds of their own citizens. Dealing majorly in knowledge-based industries like financial services, life sciences, and high technology, the majority of Irish wealth comes from software, medical technology, information and communications technology, and pharmaceutical companies. Though the cost of living in the green and gold country is incredibly high, the people of Ireland manage thanks to a whole bunch of well-paying jobs. The national GDP of the Celtic nation is about $75.2 thousand dollars per capita. Number 5. Iceland In the chilly northern lands of Europe lies the burgeoning economy of Iceland. 
buoyed above the lower 15 on this list by its excellent sources of natural energy. The difficult terrain of the country combined with a harsh climate to create the perfect conductor of hydroelectric power. This combined with a large resource of geothermal power make manufacturing plants in this nation all the more productive. Within the rapid waters that push Iceland's hydroelectric generators are one of its main exports. Fish. The fifth largest distributor of fish in the world, Iceland also exports fuels, metals, and mining products to bring the GDP per capita of the small nation to $75.7 thousand dollars. Number 4. Macau. Once a colony of Portugal, the small island region of Macau now operates as an autonomous entity of China. This special administrative region is as diverse as it is wealthy, thanks to its position as the gambling capital of the world. With its famed Kotai Strip earning the nickname of the Las Vegas of Asia, it's no wonder this densely populated tourist destination produces a GDP per capita of $81.59 thousand dollars. Popular Las Vegas destinations have built new casinos in Macau since the government opened the doors to new investors in 2002. Today, the sovereign Asian state hosts gorgeous casinos from the Las Vegas Sands, Wynn Resorts, and the MGM Mirage. Number 3. Norway. This lightly populated Nordic country is large and chock full of natural resources. Relying heavily on fish and oil, Norwegian GDP is an astounding $82.37 thousand dollars per capita. Much of the country's revenue comes from these trades, but what generates even more wealth for the nation's population is the way in which it's taxed. Money brought into the Norwegian government through the taxation of oil operations has been entered into a state-run fund and diversely invested to generate revenue for the future of the country. This oil fund, called the Government Pension Fund Global, currently owns 1.3% of global stocks and is worth $195,000 per Norwegian citizen. Number 2. Switzerland Whether looking at their banking or their chocolate, one major factor fuels the progress of Swiss economic success. Innovation With their main exports being precious gems and metals, pharmaceuticals and machinery, Switzerland specializes in making highly sought after luxury items. Along with being luxurious, the Swiss are known for efficiency with the invention of world-changing goods like Velcro, cellophane, milk chocolate, antihistamines, fondue, aluminum foil, numbered bank accounts, and of course, the Swiss Army Knife. Also lending to their impressive $83.58 thousand dollar per capita GDP is their neutrality. For one and a half centuries, Switzerland has remained politically and internationally impartial, allowing it to profit from most all potentially partnering nations. Number 1. Luxembourg the small European nation of Luxembourg tops this list thanks to hosting growing tech companies such as Amazon and Skype within its borders. In addition, many finance corporations and private banks call this green heart of Europe home, guaranteeing low unemployment rates. And at the heart of the European Union, with surrounding countries like Germany, Belgium, and France, exporting, importing, and hiring all come much easier for the small nation which hosts less than a million native Luxembourgers. Thanks to this perfect blend of elements, Luxembourg proudly enjoys a GDP of $113.95 thousand dollars per capita. Which country do you expect to move up the rankings in the next five years? Let us know in the comments section below.